Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to, well, this is the Arsenal career mode, but you're probably wondering what the hell is going on on screen right now. Well, basically, I'm so close to hitting 5,000 followers over on Facebook Gaming, and it would mean the absolute world to me if you would go ahead and click that top link in the description and go ahead and follow me because I am at the moment doing a Southampton career mode. This is the team I've built so far after one season. We're going to be streaming this throughout the week. So please do check it out. I really, really appreciate anyone who comes and watches me live. I'm streaming a lot at the moment. So please, if you're just sitting there right now and maybe you're not you're not up to much later on, maybe you fancy watching some more career mode or Ultimate Team or Among Us or Assassin's Creed when the game comes out, then please consider just checking out my Facebook gaming page. It's MGHFB. Link is top in the description. Now let's get into the Arsenal career mode. There we go, that's better. We have Barcelona. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Also, I've got a massive headache right now. I'm already struggling today, so this is going to just make it even harder. Um, I've had some tablets. Let's hope they kick in during this next match. They take like 20 minutes normally, don't they? Anyway, less about paracetamol and more about how we're going to win this damn game. How are we going to line up against Barcelona? Do we go with the lineup that I've been using pretty much the entire season so far. That is Lima in a more of a defensive role. Partey more of a box-to-box. -box. My God, how good was Partey against Manchester United yesterday? And El Elneny, to be fair. I think, I think we go for it. Of course, you've just seen the group stage. We've already progressed. It's just whether or not we can get a draw or a win and stay top of the group. Martial starting up top. Lionel Messi on the right. Dembele on the left, I'm presuming. Koulibaly. And Gomez, the bane of Ultimate Team. My God, every team I come up against in Ultimate Team has Gomez. Including my own team, I've got Gomez. Of course I have, who doesn't? But Lionel Messi starts again, he will be captaining the sides. I'm feeling confident. Defensively this season, yes, we've made some mistakes that have led to goals. But otherwise, we've had actually a very good season so far in terms of just not conceding too many goals. It's just the goals that we have conceded have been particularly bad. But we'll, we'll get off to a good start, hopefully. See if we can get an early goal. I'm just going to cross this. Why not? Oh, my. Ooh, if Gomez missed that, Aubameyang scores. I can't believe that Roma have only got two points from this group. I mean, that, that is shocking, isn't it? I don't think anyone would have expected them to do that badly. Here's Partey. Into Aubameyang. Koulibaly steps in, but Martinelli's here. Going to play that back to Lima. Over to Bellerin. Pepe's offside. Is he on now? Oh, I thought he came back on. For a second, I thought he just managed to get behind. Let's see what happened. There, I thought he was on, but no, he's, he's way off, Matt. You're blind. Oh, look at that. I've got 50 wins. I had no idea. That's not bad, considering we're at the start of Season 2, pretty much. 50 career wins already. Look, I know Mikel has done very well for Arsenal, but clearly, I am the chosen one. Okay, who needs Mikel Arteta when you've got MGH? Even though we almost got sacked multiple times in season one. <laughs> let's let's just not think about that. Oh no. Martial. Oh my god, he just absolutely rinsed me. Wow. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well played, Martial. We've signed him a few times in Arsenal career modes in the past, and this is one of the reasons why. He's so good in front of goal. Oh, man. I feel embarrassed. That was shocking defending. By the way, guys, what's your thoughts on James Ward-Prowse coming in as a signing? What do we think? Maybe I could sign Ward-Prowse? That'd be quite an interesting one. I'm thinking he would probably end up coming in for Granite Xhaka once he eventually leaves. He was incredible at the weekend, wasn't he? Oh, yes, we got it. Oh, my God. That is so unlucky. Who was that? Was that Vinaldum? He was just laying on the floor and I kicked it into him. Nice. But yes, please get your comments down below. Let me know about future signings. Let me know today about James Ward-Prowse. Would you like to see that? Now here's Tierney. This could be good. Pull it back. Here's Awa. Go on. Ah, oh, to Stegen. Comfortable save in the end for him. Wait, is that my manager? Am I seeing that right? My manager has an Arsenal kit on. I have never, ever, ever seen a bug so weird. Actually, no. Let's be fair. FIFA's full of bugs every year. But that that has to be one of the strangest ones. What what even is... I, I've seen the new cutscene bug as well. You're in these, like, free agent kits. And you, you've 
You've got the twin brother bald man still. I, pff, who knows when they're going to fix these problems? It could be a while. Doesn't really matter though. Let's go. Over the top for Awa. Wait, you're going to blow the whistle there. Okay. Not a good first half so far. Although we're losing this game, a point is enough. So with the final 30 minutes here, all I need to do is score a goal. It's that simple, right? Surely. I've got to say, though, Gomez and Koulibaly is ridiculously strong. I can't get through. It's proving very difficult at the moment to even just get the ball. Lionel Messi coming very deep to pick up the possession as well. Wijnaldum and De Jong, two Dutch brilliant players. Oh, no. Okay, luckily he fell over. That's given me a chance to get possession back. And look at this. Over the top? Nope. <sighs> Pepe made a good run, but the pass didn't make it. Oh, no. No. Do not concede again. Good tackle. Gabriel. Who is Lionel Messi? Gabriel doesn't care, mate. He'll just take the ball off you. Here we go again. Bellerin. I'm just going to keep running here. Nope. No, I'm not. God damn it, Matt. What's wrong with you? Looks like Barcelona are making a change as well. Martial's coming off and Griezmann's coming on. We are making a triple change as well. We've got um, Genduzi, Xhaka and Saka coming on for the final 15 minutes or so. Even though I made the subs about 10 minutes before, sometimes the ball just doesn't go up, go out of play quick enough. But yeah, bringing, bringing Xhaka on is a bit of a... Bit of a gamble. I'm just hoping he can pick out a pass over the top or something. Well done, Saliba. Right, give that to Partey and then to Pepe. Nice. Aubameyang in the middle. Okay. Saka's made a run. We're going to pick out Tierney. Again, nice play, but we're not getting anywhere yet. Oh, my God, Saka. Get out of the way. In for Genduzi, maybe. Nope, that's going to be blocked. Okay, still got time. Give it to Saka. To Genduzi. Into Aubameyang. Back to Genduzi. No, the pass was bad. Aubameyang's pass was way too heavy. And we are running out of time now. Ah, there's full time. We need to get lucky. Hopefully, we're going to come up against a team that maybe should have been in first place but came... No, that should have been in second but came first. So, someone that's good but not great, if that makes any sense. I don't want to bring up any examples, but Leon just came to mind, really. like Someone like a Leon, that would be great. But we finished in second place, which means we will come up against a team that finished in first. But like I said, let's hope for a team that really shouldn't be progressing in first place, but has. Right, so we got some nice prize money there. £25 million, roughly. We've got some scout reports on the strikers we're looking at. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We've also got a player, I think it was Mittelstadt, that has finished his position change. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Convert him to a left back. So now he's a left back, a left wing back and a left midfielder, the same as my other guys. So that works quite nicely. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the players that have their scout reports finished. So we're looking at Edouard and Dembele, 83 rated and 78 rated. Did I already look at these? I don't remember. Did, did I already have those emails? I actually can't remember. But either way, it's good to look at them again. I, I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to do at this point. I, I see Dembele as more of a... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I've already explained how I think he's more of a Lacazette, whereas Edouard's more of an Aubameyang, you know? I really don't know who I prefer. But at 23, 78 rated, it's not ideal, is it? Considering... I'm replacing arguably one of the best strikers to ever play for Arsenal. So it's not going to be an easy task to do it. We will have to look at some other targets as well. Now let's play our next game in the Premier League. And guess what? The fixtures just get easier and easier. We now have Liverpool away at Anfield. They are top of the league and they haven't lost a game. So um, again, just trying to figure out how we're going to win this one. I think Saka's is going to come on, take out Martinelli for this game. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably the only change I need to make. Because Martinelli's great, but Saka maybe offers a little bit more defensively, and I think that's what we might need. I might actually ask Saka to go a bit wider than usual, try and help out defensively, but then hit them on the break. And, and Martinelli can be a really good super sub. He can come on and do some damage. So I think this is the lineup we're going to go with. We have to score in this one. I, I can't not score 
a draw wouldn't be great. Not an easy place to come to. I just have a feeling that a nil-nil could be on the cards here. I don't know. Sometimes I just get a feeling. But uh, I saw Salah. I saw Van Dijk. They've got Henderson as captain. Allison in goal. Yeah, it's a ridiculous squad, isn't it? It really is. Liverpool have done a great job over the years to, to build this squad. And Goretzka coming in as well. Hasn't made things any easier. What a player he is. Hey, at least they don't have Joe Gomez, right? That's always a nice thing. Who do they have at centre-back next to him? I th who is that? Let's have a look. I'm actually not too sure. They have Lucas Hernandez. Wow! <laughs> Another pacey one instead of Gomez. Fair play. That's a good signing for them. We've got Pepe in midfield here. Loads of space. Into Alwa. Into Saka. Is he on? I think he is. No, he's off. He's offside. What a start that would have been here at Anfield. But no, it, it was. It was just offside. I thought it was when I passed the ball. That's frustrating. Oh, thanks, Van Dijk. We'll take that back. Let's push it forward. Oh, oh yes, come on. Pepe, keep going. Hit it. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've scored the next chance and it's Pepe. He is fantastic. We've seen how good he's been so far in this career mode. This season, he's been a little bit slower to get going, but maybe he's really going to get going now. This is a great goal with his right foot. I, I don't know how I escaped Robertson. He was all over me there. But what a strike with the right foot. He's just powered it home near post. Allison, no chance. And that comes from a Van Dyke mistake where he's chipped the free kick straight to Aubameyang. What an idiot. Well done, Saka. Great header. What a start this has been. Go on, Saka. Make a run now. Good. Okay. What now? What now? We need some We need some runs. Give it to Alwa. Oh, back to Saka. Oh, my God. Please be on. No. No way. Two goals for Saka. Both offside. Oh, it's... It's evil, isn't it? Because in slow-mo, it looks so much worse. But actually, it was such a good run. The pass from Alwa just wasn't quick enough. And Van Dyke with that free kick again. The CPU clearly like to do that little chip. Oh, God. They like to do the little chip free kick, and it's not working out for them. We've got the ball after it again. Now, Aubameyang has a chance to run at the defence. He's got some space to run into, but Van Dyke recovers that time. Carver Howes at right back. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even realise Trent wasn't starting. That's a weird one. Well, it can't be a nil-nil draw. That's nice. Oh, my God. It's about to flick that one through for Thomas. Now, here comes Mane. Get back, Saliba. Oh, no. Come out, Leno. Come out, come out. Get it. Yes. Nicely done. We're fine. Oh, no. There I am saying that Van Dyke's an idiot for giving away the ball, and I'm doing it myself. Firmino. Come on, Bellerin, wake up. That's not a pen. Yes, ref, good man. Good man, now we break. Pepe, in behind. No, Van Dijk again. And now he's going to be offside anyway. Rubbish pass, what is going on all of a sudden? Oh, oh God, we're lucky. We're so lucky. Partey, score. No. No. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> that is just ridiculous as well. <laughs> Imagine you're a manager and you turn up in the full kit. Oh my god, you're definitely getting called a full kit W. Oh my, how have we missed that chance? If I end up regretting it because we've lost, I won't be pleased, that's for sure. Oh, Saka's in again. Surely this time. Uh, I think Saka might be the most unlucky player in existence. Two goals offside and then he's hit the post. Unbelievable. Oh, no, 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 no. Saka's on the floor now. This isn't real. This is not happening. Oh, we're going we're gonna to concede as well. Oh, Leno, big save there. Um, Saka's injured. I cannot believe it. The most unlucky game for a player ever in my career modes. I can't remember the last time a player has done so well, yet has had nothing. And then has got injured as well? Like, what even is that luck? 
I can't believe it. Right, let's break. Go on, Aubameyang. Make a run, mate. Don't just stand there. Nice. Oh, Martinelli's getting taken out as well. This is ridiculous. What has Klopp told his players to do? Just injure me. Take me out. Oh, well, they're taking off Salah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Last season, it was Pepe getting injured. This season, if Saka's injured for months, I'm going to be so disappointed. Look at Bellerin go, though, up against Fabinho. He's still going here. Into the box. Go on, Martinelli. Okay, not a bad attempt, but maybe crossing wasn't the best idea there. I do cross it too much. I know I do. I need to stop doing it. Oh, my God. We've got Stoke next. Talk about injuries and getting tackled really badly. We've got Stoke next. We all know what they do to Arsenal players. Jesus. Okay, let's get forward now. Or not. We could just give away the ball straight away. I've got a bad feeling about these next 10 minutes. We're still winning, but that can change very quickly. That's not a good pass. Let's make some changes. We've got two subs that we can make. Aubameyang's not having a good game today. He really isn't. Um, do you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna call it. And Ketia's coming on. And also, I'm going to bring in Genduzi. Put Partey in midfield. No. Oh, for God's sake. I can't believe it. I feel like the other Arsenal players that are on the pitch right now, I feel like just flopping on my floor. Five minutes to go. Oh. Typical. I don't want to watch it again. I really don't. Just get forward. Still got time to get a winner. Of course they're not going to lose again. I cannot believe it. We would have been the first team to get a win against Liverpool this season. And I can't even break through their midfield. Oh my god. Get me out of this game. I'm just disappointed about Saka as well. How many chances... And now he's injured. If he's injured for a long time, like that's a, that's a big problem for us. And how is Fabinho intercepting that? Is he eight foot tall? That's offside. No, no, we don't lose. I don't think so. We we don't no no. Oh my god! If that goes in, I'm uninstalling. I'm literally deleting the game from my PC. This is ridiculous. What a goal that would have been. Do you know what? If that went in, maybe I should have just shut up and acknowledged how good it was. Please get that out. Okay. I think we're okay now. Ref, you can just blow the whistle. I don't know how I haven't won this game. I don't know. Liverpool are the luckiest team alive right now. I don't know how they've come away with a point. Oh, we've got two emails. I know one of them is a progress assessment, but is it an injury? Oh, no. Please don't be bad. Five days. Oh, my God. What a relief. Five days out for Saka. That's that's absolutely fine. He was incredible. He is better than Martinelli. I think I should really start playing Saka as a left winger a bit more. He's, he's really, really good. Oh, I can't believe we haven't won that game, though. So disappointed in myself. We had so many chances. Look at... We had to win. We had to because the gap is is already becoming a little bit too difficult for us. I'm going to try something a little bit different against Stoke. We can afford to experiment in this game. Uh, I am going to be bringing in Saka in this one. And I'm going to take out... Hmm. Oh, I don't know, actually. I want to use all four of these midfielders. But maybe we could give one a rest. Maybe we rest Partey. Why not? Let's put Saka in midfield with Genduzi. We've got Bellerin, Saliba, Gabriel and Tierney. Um, Holding really wanted to play, so I might take out Saliba and bring in Holding for this one. And Ketty is going to get a start up top with Aubameyang. Alwa playing at Cam. What do we think? Why not? Let's go for it. It means Pepe is going to get a rest as well. Welcome back to the Premier League, Stoke City. It's lovely to have you back. Yeah. Mm, no, not a fan. I'm not going to lie. If you support Stoke, fair enough. It couldn't be me. Oh, here's Genduzi. Into Nketiah. Genduzi was offside. You know I was about to score again and have it offside. That'd be just my luck. Oh, good tackle. Oh, what? Instant reaction there from the Stoke midfielder. Oh, no. Yes, Gabriel. I refuse to concede to Stoke. It's not going to happen. Here's Aubameyang. In for Saka. Tell you what, this formation's tasty. 4 1 2 1 2. Right, Saka. Please, this time. Yes! Beautiful from Saka. Finally, he gets a goal after that game against Liverpool. You'd think he'd never want to shoot again because he's probably offside. 
But this time he's not. Saka with that left foot. He is magic with that left foot. Just powers forward. He's quick. He makes it look so easy. Hits it across the keeper. Good night, Stoke. 1-0 down within 20 minutes. Let's try and get some more, shall we? This is kind of weird, you know. All of my central midfielders, all four of them, you know, whether they're playing DM, Cam, left or right centre mid, they just seem to be rotating around a lot. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. So I'm seeing Alwar's dropping back and Genduzi's getting forward. And then you've got Saka covering for Tierney when he goes forward on that left side. It's really quite cool. I quite like it so far. It's a different formation. Obviously, I never really play with two strikers. Tierney's pushing forward. Look at this. Nketiah's back post. Go on, Nketiah. Oh, my God. How are you missing that? How are you missing that, Nketiah? It's such a good volley. He's connected with it perfectly, but it's not on target. Look at Tierney again. He's just so, so enthusiastic just to get forward all the time. Pull it back. Nketiah missed again. That's kind of a shame. We could have had three or four. It's okay, though. Here's Aubameyang. Finesse shot. Oh, my God. Who's in goal? Who are you? I want to celebrate right in front of you. No, no, where are you going? God damn it. I pressed A and he ran off. I was going to run right in front of the keeper and celebrate there because that's a joke. That should not be going in. I need to see how that's gone in. So, Gabriel wins it. Lima pushes it forward. And then Aubameyang just whips it. Who is that goalkeeper? That is shocking. He's hit his face on the post. He's probably done that before the shots come in. He's just so dazed already. Who is in goal? That stupid glitch, honestly. Who's in goal for them? <laughs> it's Matt Macy. Oh, my God. I forgot I sold him to Stoke. Oh, I feel bad now. There I am saying he probably hit his, hit his face beforehand because he was so rubbish at trying to save that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Matt. Matt Macy, I'm so sorry. Ex-Arsenal, what a shame. Oh, Gendouzi, what a turn. And then the pass is terrible. That was so cool, though, wasn't it? Lovely little spin. Holding's done really well there. All right, let's play it forward again. Here's Awa. Back for Gendouzi. In for Bellerin. Holy shit, this formation's amazing. Oh my god, I just swore in my video. Whatever. Carry on. Aubameyang. Oh, no way. Can't believe I haven't scored that. And you know I'm going to forget to bleep out my swear word. I never swear in my videos. I let one slip. Whatever. Oh, what a ball. Is he onside? Ainsley Maitland-Niles, who's just come on. Into the box now for Enketia. Yes, there it is. 3-0. Just made three changes. Lacazette's going to come on and hopefully get a goal. Pepe and Maitland-Niles. And Maitland-Niles gets the assist. And Ketia finally buries one. I think this might be a, a formation we need to use a bit more. It just seems to be very strong in FIFA. I've been using it in Ultimate Team a little bit as well. Right, I think with 3-0 up, let's go ahead and jump to result. And it's a 3-0 win. And Ketia got the final goal of this game. A nice little three-pointer. Easy game. Holding was actually fantastic, so well done. And Leno's happy as well. I'm proud of you. 88 rated Leno. How disgusting is that? Right, who's our next game against? Because I think we can do one more in this episode. And then I'm going to have a little nap because my head is killing me. Right, we've got West Brom away. Where are they in the league right now? So we're second place. Liverpool won again. They still haven't lost. West Brom are down in 16th. So not a great season so far for them. I think we can probably start this game with uh, the, the match sim. We'll go to that formation again, the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. But we will change a few players out. Let's give Genduzi a rest in this one and bring in Xhaka. And uh, do you know what? I might give Martinelli a go up top. Um, no, I'm not going to actually. Is there anyone else I fancy giving a go? Maybe Willock. Let's give Willock a go. Let's take Alwar out. Willock can play at Cam. He can actually play there, so we'll see if he can get a goal. We are, of course, the red circles. They are the blue squares. Make sure you turn that setting on. It's really nice. I like it, having the squares and the circles. Oh, we're in here. Oh! Oh! Oh, it was offside. Tierney getting through on goal there. In this 4-1-2-1-2, the wingbacks, get, they get so far forward. Look at Bellerin as well. 
flying forward. Oh, Aubameyang. No. The shot was blocked. No surprise. It is FIFA 21 after all. We're in again, though. And Aubameyang scores this time. I'm pretty sure that came off the post and went in. We've had 89% of the ball. How are we only 1-0 up? We should be doing so much better at this point, but it's fine. We've got the lead. We've won the ball back again here. This formation's insane. It is actually so good with the players I've got. I don't think Xhaka fits it very well. Oh my god, it's another one. Or Bamiyang. The problem with Xhaka is, unless he's playing in the middle, I would say, you know, as the DM, he won't fit anywhere else. I've got him playing as the left central midfielder, and it's fine if you're simulating like this, but I think if I was to play this game, I wouldn't enjoy that so much. Oh, go on. Yes! Another goal. It's Partey this time. There's literally no need. Again, we can jump to result here. It's another 3-0 win, but Xhaka has picked up an injury. Oh, no. Please don't be a bad one. Let's see. I was just talking about him, though, being a bit expendable at this point, I think. And three weeks for Granite Xhaka. Not great. Um, oh, my God. Almost had a heart attack. Gabriel. I've got to be honest, I was worried that you were thinking about replacing me. No, no chance. You are doing great. He is unreal in this game. And he's even more unreal in real life. What a signing he's been so far for Arsenal. Because that game was so quick, we're going to do another one here. We're going to go with Lacazette and Martinelli up top. Oh my god, this team. I'm so, so happy with the team we've built. It is amazing so far. Put Saka in midfield. Like, we can just swap players out and not worry about it. They're all... All very good players. Uh, we'll go with... Why not go with Pablo Mari and Bolly for this game? Why not? Leno's up to 89 now. Jesus, he's playing as a 92. That is ridiculous. Okay, we've got Crystal Palace at home this time. Once again, we'll start off with a sim and we'll see how we get on. It is a weaker side, but I think we've got more than enough firepower to get this game done. This game is literally two days after the last one against West Brom. The scheduling is crazy sometimes, isn't it? And that was Genduzi having a shot. Yes, we have got one shot. Could have been a really good start for us there. 25 minutes in. Still only the one shot so far. It's definitely not the perfect game so far. But Mittelstadt's won it there. Okay, Saka. Up here to Martinelli. Into Lima. This is great play. Go on. Take it all the way. Mittelstadt. Oh, he was offside. Come on, man. Okay, so I'm jumping in here and I just realised it's snowing. Great. Well, I'm glad I'm not playing this one the whole time. I think we'll just jump in a little bit here. See if we can make a difference. Oh, my God. Um, that wasn't meant to happen. God, I hate playing in the snow. This is awful. Mari's so slow as well up against Brewster. Get a tackling. Okay, right. Um, nothing happened, guys. La, 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 la. Nothing happened. Half time and it's nil-nil. Yep, resume. Still nil-nil. Be great if we scored two goals, even though we only need one to win, you know. <laughs> I can't believe I joined and conceded. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. I'm hoping my players can pull me out of this one, because that was shocking. I refuse to play in the snow. Oh, here we go. Yes! Lacazette puts us back in the game. One more, lads. Come on. Oh, here we go. Awa. No, he lost it. Okay, I'm going to make some changes now. We've got Navas on the bench. I didn't even realise. Okay, um, I'm going to go to a 4-2-3-1. Martinelli can play on the left. That's absolutely fine. Alwar in the middle. Saka on the right, I guess. I was going to bring on Pepe, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. Saka can play at Cam. Pepe on the right. Why is that saying he's out of position? Thank you very much. Um, Partey... Uh, we haven't got really many choices here, have we? Let's bring in... Oh, I don't know. No, we're going to leave it. We'll leave it as it is. The ball hasn't gone out of play yet, so we won't get the subs on just yet. But we've still got 20-odd minutes left here. Go on, get a cross in. Oh. oh, okay. That's why they never cross it, because it's rubbish. Here is Pepe. Go on, Pepe. Go on. Oh, oh Martinelli close. We've got the corner. Let's come out here for Lima. He's still going and it's saved. I'm very tempted to jump in just for the final 10 minutes here. Try and make a difference. Wait, what? It said nil-nil for a second there. It's definitely not nil-nil. Oh, here we go. Here is Saka. 
On that left side, no way. Chambers, be nice to us, man. We were so good to you for many, many years. Come on, play it forward. Okay, this is good. Give that to Lacazette. In behind for Pepe. Surely, surely. Win it. Oh my God. Does the snow affect your brain as well? What? What is that? How are you doing that, Pepe? Oh, it's shocking. That really is so bad. We're going to not win because of that. Into the final minute here of injury time. We're not going to get a win. Oh, I'm gutted. I cannot believe that. That last minute chance for Pepe and I've put it over the top. That's horrendous. I think that means we're just not going to stay with Liverpool. It's not going to happen. And then we've got another game just two days later. It's ridiculous, isn't it? How are you meant to keep your players fit? Luckily, it's not too bad. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We finish up two points above Spurs after 20 matches, but we are seven points behind Liverpool. Oh, it's not good. At least the top four is starting to pull away a little bit, so um, we don't have to stress out too much. But yeah, that's it for this video. My career mode videos will go live at 7pm every weekday, not 6pm. It's going to 7pm from now on. Check out my stream schedule. It's in my Discord, which is open for you guys to join. Discord.gg slash MGH. You can go ahead and just search for MGH in the Discord client. Um, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook Gaming, Instagram, all of that stuff. And I will see you tomorrow at 7pm for another episode.